Assalamu alaikum dear sisters I hope you all are well and good Welcome to the channel I'm Fatima G You're so welcome here So alhamdulillah me and the children We are at the beach Canberra Sands to be precise It's currently low tide So we are way into the beach itself The ocean We're literally walking on the ocean floor Alhamdulillah So we took a trip to um, Park Kadeen Camber Sands Resort and it's been just an amazing amazing experience lately okay I'll come next to you yeah lately me and the children we have actually well I should say I should speak for myself I've actually struggle to connect with them because i've just been so busy you know and even when i'm connected with them subhanallah i'm kind of like rushing to go back to other things that i'm trying to pursue for myself however being a parent does come first to me so i need to sit down and you know reprioritize my priorities you know which is my children first before anything so alhamdulillah coming out here spending like a couple of days here we've been here for three nights four days so it's been amazing we're going back soon so this is our last activity to do so you know alhamdulillah my main goal is to make sure that they're always happy you know well to the best of my ability you know because I can't make everyone happy I can't make the children fully happy you know I can only do my best you know the older two children are all the way over there yeah. right there those two what guys i want to really say is subhanallah sisters right is that don't beat yourself if you're not the same mother you once was this is directly to like the single mothers and any mother who is struggling you know whether even if you're married but i'm particularly speaking to the single mothers like myself okay because it's hard to always entertain our children be there for them and give them all the love and support that they really need all the nurturing because we are just one person doing every single thing so don't beat yourself up for it but what i want to say is though every so often come next to me okay Every so often try to take little day trips you know go to the park it doesn't have to be anything expensive like for us this is free obviously yes i had to drive here but if you drive take your children to the beach they'll absolutely love it my children the older two are out there you know building their sand castles and doing whatever else that they they you know they, they like this is free your children will love it try to find free activities there's always like free activities going on like in libraries you know subhanallah connect with them and even if it's like okay you dedicate like let's say half an hour let's say you have three children like myself half an hour 10 minutes with each child just to interact with them find out how their day was play their favorite games with them and things like that take them to a pond and do pond dipping like this thing that Zahira is holding right here you can use it for like pond dipping go to the pond if your kids are obviously you know into animals and stuff like once we went pond dipping and we found newts and we found um other you know pond we did find a fish. Thank you, Zahira. She still, she still remembers that. Subhanallah, we did. We found a fish and everything. And all these free activities create great memories. And Zahira remembering that. That was last summer. She was only two, you know. So just imagine how your older children will remember all the things that you do for them. And when they're older, we can always talk to them and tell them, you know, why... We didn't really show up for them like we really wanted to. Like I know our goal is to raise healthy children to the best of our ability. But sometimes, just sometimes, we might not fool their cup like they really, really desire, like they really, really want. And then when they're older one day, they might question us. Mommy, why did you not do da 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 Money, You know, at least you can say, you know what, son? You know what, daughter? I couldn't because of this reason and that reason. So I did this instead, you know? So try your best. Inshallah ta'ala. I'm going to do a video soon. Bi'idnillah. On some of the free activities we do. And inshallah you can get some inspiration. Of things that you can do. Coming to the beach is definitely one of it. This is the time we've been to the beach this summer. And inshallah. We will be coming back. Bi'idnillah. Before the summer ends. You know. 
this is a sandy beach it's nice because then the kids can play with their build their sand castles and stuff i totally forgot to bring actually bring their swimsuit was because when we was at the resort um they went swimming and i forgot to wash it and dry it so i didn't want them to wear like dirty swimsuit you know so i'll do that video for you guys inshallah some of the free activities that you can do at home or some of the places that you can go just to build connection with your children is so so important because sometimes me particularly i feel really sorry for my children i feel really sorry for them that it's just me looking after them for like most of the time like yes they go to their dad zazie come back yes yes they go to their dad they spend time with their dad and everything but it's not the same because i'm doing 24 7 of the work that really needs to be done so i really feel sorry for them because i, I can't be present all the time because now mommy has to find a job mommy wants to read books now like i love reading yeah i have so many books <laughs> so many pdf books that i need to read so many books that i got on apple um bookstore that i need to read like i'm just so into reading however you know the children don't really understand that when mommy got her phone that mommy's actually reading but they don't understand that so that's why it's really hard for me to get like physical books because it's quite expensive i find the pdf files much cheaper and the truth be told you know and i know that we can find a lot of books for free online nowadays so why buy it when you can get the free pdf file so anyways just to round this video up right have mercy upon yourself have a bit have a have a bit of um compassion for yourself you're the only one doing most of the work this is sisters who are married as well some sisters who are married are doing most of the work because their husbands are out there busy working trying to provide for the family it's okay but i really want us to schedule some time to spend time with the children so that they remember us you know taking that extra time out even though we were busy we spent 10 minutes with them 15 minutes with them and actually filling their cup and doing something that they want to do you know and obviously like it's always really nice to um do activities together as a family and some of the games that we have and i'll share those with you inshallah keep strong my beautiful sister you've got this you've absolutely got this you understand like allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not test a servant more than it can bear allah knows you can handle this that's why he's testing you in such a way so be strong inshallah mm. and we we're here in this community to support each other so if there's anything that you do as a single parent that really really helps you be there for your children help them thrive and also you know be there to support them emotionally and also of course most importantly fill your cup please share it with us in the comments i'm pretty sure other sisters will benefit i absolutely will benefit from what you do as well but this is also again beneficial for sisters who are married you understand i don't want to make it a single mother thing you know we can all benefit from each other married or not you know it's just that single mothers we struggle a lot more because sometimes those sisters who are married are like, oh, about it. alhamdulillah you can get a break when your husband comes home you can be like you know what take those kids take those kids but we don't have that option you know but alhamdulillah khair alhamdulillah be khair we thank allah for absolutely everything you know we don't complain yes we may feel sad sometimes it's okay to feel sad but we thank and trust allah and and that we trust that whatever decision that he has made for us he has chosen for us you know it's for our own good you know it's for our absolute own it's for our own good you know alhamdulillah so take care sisters and i hope you benefited from this video please share in the comments whatever else you want to share with me or the other sisters all right there sisters salamu alaikum